One of the problems at school is that the teachers are overburdened. Kids, if you have three kids that are unruly, it disrupts the whole class. And the teachers are trying to figure out how in the world I can teach and I've got three boys or three girls or boys and girls in the back or in the front or in the middle talking and throwing things or dropping stuff and it makes it very, very difficult. The form of punishment that they're using right now and they've used forever is put your name on the board, which to me, uh, that's a self-esteem downer. I, I really think it's a lot of emotional, probably child abuse in a lot of ways, especially sitting them out in the corner or sometimes they'll put them in circles. Better to put them probably sitting up front and having them sit there. You do want to interact with the teacher about forms of discipline at school and what are they doing. We all know that suspensions, which can be really high in some school districts, they do not work and it punishes the child and it really punishes you as the parent because you've got to figure out what to do with the child uh, or you miss time from work. So it's a real, real big issue and financially for the United States it's a big issue when people are suspended and kids are not in school. So one of the things though is just to look at your child, talk with your child. You probably do need to get to a health provider that maybe can help you with either forms of medication, counseling. I'm going to say that counseling by itself is not going to work and it's almost at every age. These kids need to be, uh, have something to do. A lot of times kids will finish their work and then they're active and they don't know what to do. So give them more work to do. Yes, have them some, doing something else. Uh, no problem with sitting on a rolling ball, uh, having something to squeeze. Uh, I will admit I gave away a bunch of squeeze little toys and they ended up throwing them all over the class. So you do have to watch out what you do. But there's a lot of, lot of things that you do. There are even squiggly seats that a child can sit on and kind of like a batsu ball or something and they sit and they squiggle and move around in the chair because they need to move. Give them, let them draw, let them, let them do something else and, and do those types of things that we do as adults. So realize they're being almost punished by sitting in the chair for so long. Talk with your child, talk with the teacher, talk with yourself. Big forms of punishment does not work, but try to work through counseling and through your health provider of what might work for your child.